the University of Nebraska State Museum in Morrill Hall hosted in October an exhibit in the Cooper Gallery called A Turning Point Navajo Weaving in the Late 20th Century, which is an exhibit that showcases contemporary Navajo textiles. The collection includes 34 pieces from more than 30 artists, all of which were created in the last 25 years. As part of the exhibit, three weavers came to the museum, a mother, a daughter, and a grandmother, who demonstrated their methods of weaving. Melissa takes a few moments to discuss with her visitors about her current piece, which deals with Parkinson's disease. So this is, is this all in your head? Yeah. So I'm going by sight. Um, you, you develop like a hand-eye coordination, and so it goes pretty quick once you learn the basic techniques of how to do the horizontal lines as well as diagonal lines and vertical. Melissa leaves an impression on her visitors as she explains the compositional aspects, her technical palette, uh -huh, the inspiration for this piece, and traditional framework of her methods. Looking at them earlier, they don't... Uh, they're like the random element to me, like, you know, especially because they overlap slightly in certain areas. Yeah. I love that, how it's not like just, they're just yeah. pasted in one spot, but they're just organic. My grandma actually said I thought it was tape. <laughs> tape on my, on my rug. <laughs> As part of any tradition, a way to pass down narratives is vital to the identity of the culture. The Navajo's medium was ceremonial sand paintings to continue the storyline, which were later transcribed by weavers into rugs. Melissa continues her cultural and family tradition as she builds from her past heritage, a celebration of weaving.